Use the action widget to create if this, then that actions. Some popular examples of these types of actions include to display content after a form is submitted, display an entry form after a vote is cast, or display an entry form after a video plays. The list of events and actions available to the action widget depends on the widgets already in your campaign, which means it's generally best to configure any action widgets last after adding and configuring all the other widgets you're going to use. For this example, when visitors arrive at the campaign, I want them to see this video. Once the video reaches the end, a form will reveal. I've already added the content needed for this action to work, which includes this video widget, which is displaying this video. The form is displayed via this form container with the form fields already set up within it. I want everything in this form container to stay hidden until the video is finished playing. So I'll set the visibility of this container to starts hidden. Now I'll add the action widget. In the When section, the video widget is selected by default. The available event triggers for this particular widget are listed over here. If I were to select a different widget, you can see the available event triggers change. For this action, I'll select the video widget and Reaches the End as the event trigger. You have the option of adding more than one trigger simply by clicking this plus sign. Adding an additional trigger here would mean the user would have to complete the first trigger or the second but would not have to complete both triggers to trigger the action. You can also require a combination of triggers. For example, if the user has to watch a video and check a box to agree to some terms, the completion of both of these tasks could then trigger an action. The then section is where you'll indicate what will happen when these triggers are met. In this example, we'd like the entry form to appear when the video has reached the end. So I'll select the form container and show. You can add additional actions. I'll add an action to hide the video once that form displays. Reviewing what we've set up, when the video reaches the end, the container containing our form and text will show, and the video will hide. To test what you've set up in the action widget, first click Preview. As a shortcut, you can click the play button in the action widget. You can also test your action by taking the steps to trigger it.